All right, you ungrateful savages, let's give you what you want, shall we? Fine. What you want? The winner of the poll of all the figures that you were most excited for me to review from TF Nation. After I kind of squeezed this guy in first, because he's awesome. And has just fawned of death. Let's look at Kingdom Galvatron. It's what you wanted, it's what you get in. Let's just make sure Windraiser is okay. He is, it's fine, good. And obviously I'm gonna start in vehicle mode because you know, why wouldn't I? I, I sorry, vehicle mode. Alternate mode. Sorry, I burped while I was trying to talk and it was like ooh, unpleasant. Uh we look at this. Now this comes with the three other accessories attached, being this gun, this gun, and the matrix on a chain. But we'll just do that quickly and it looks like this. This is like a a stand kickback stand kind of thing. There are little rolly wheels in here, little rolly wheels in here on the treads. Uh, you can fold it up with that still out. It can still stand. I think that looks better personally. I don't like this giant stand. I understand why it's there. Understand stand. <laughs> and yeah, if he was doing like a really charged up shot, that fair enough. Put a stabilizer down. But I'm not a fan of it personally. But let's just put it down. Just just sure that's that's what it's for. And so we'll do it like this first and then I'll take the other stuff off. Shut the tracks down straight. Size comparison. Titans return. Galvatron. Now, I know this is a universally disliked figure, but I, I'd i kind of accept it as the only Galvatron I was ever really going to have. Except for the old G1 I had, which I missed the uh, purple bit that connected the gun barrel. Whatever. So, this is a heavily stylized Galvatron, fine. The big cannon at the front, blah blah blah, the tray is fine. And then... I kind of feel like Galvatron should be somewhere between the two. So let me just pop that off. Pop that off. Um, they hold... There are these tabs either side. They're just going to slots there. Um, you can't really get it in... The, I've tried getting it in the middle. It doesn't like it. So it ends up being more towards the bottom and shoving it up higher. Rather than, you know, lower down or whatever. Maybe you've got better luck than me. We'll look at these properly in a bit. And for this one, we're going to disconnect there, slide it over the barrel, and there's just this tab that goes into that slot. And we'll get to that as well. So, now without all the extra bits, it's a bit more G1 Galvatron, a bit more the toy, I guess. I just... I think Galvatron should be somewhere in the middle. You know, between the two of them. I don't think either of them are completely bang on. I mean, this one's heavily stylistic choices. But at least it feels a bit like Galvatron. This one feels like people are trying to tell me it's Galvatron. And that's the thing. This is, like, held up as the pinnacle of all Galvatrons. And I'm like, is it, though? But, uh... And if you if you want to be petty about it, you can say this thing underneath here is a stand as well to help support. You, you can. I'm not saying you should, but you can. Take that out of the way. Uh, before we transform it, I suppose we should take a look at the accessories. <sighs> okay. So you come with this from that scene inside Galvatron. Uh, sorry, Unicron. Where he has the Matrix on a chain around his neck. And it looks like that, and the matrix is really small. And this doesn't completely fit in either mode. I think I might have to heat this up with a hairdryer and just bend it down a little bit, because it seems to stick up in the air, but you'll see that more in robot mode. And we get two of these guns that are identical. And they are meant to be the ship that Unicron gives them. I believe. Well, that's the closest thing you can get it to. And they look alright, they're... 
Apparently they're in scale with that big Haslab Unicron, but really? But it's neat enough, it's got a peg so you can hold it and use it as a pew pew. And you can get the other one, you can use that peg, that hole, that hole and that peg, because they're symmetrical. And plug them into each other and make a big pew pew, which would look really, really stupid. If that connected, because there is a gap there, if that plugged onto something, that'd be kind of cool. Like, if you could take this barrel out, and that could somehow plug in there as a, an optional barrel. That'd be kind of cool, I'd take that, wouldn't you? Or that way, whichever one's your preference. But it, it doesn't. So, you know. We'll plug that back in there, I guess. Okay. I don't know if there's a tab or something I'm missing. But, yeah. I don't know. It seems very busy for what it is. Like, what are these things at the front? Are these extra lasers? Has he got the big cannon and six backup lasers? Because I appreciate it if he has. Um... The treads are traditionally where they are, you know, back of the elbows kind of thing. But these shoulders aren't ratcheted or anything, so if you're not careful, and this whole assembly is a little bit wibbly, they can just slide like that and just fold out to the side and drop. And even the treads themselves have got like a little bit of articulation to them. I assume that's supposed to be a good thing, it's kind of like ankle tilt for the treads. But it means that there's no, yes, you've got it in the right position. Because on the science return, let's just get it back. I know for 100% fact, I haven't got it in the right position. Because they're angled, and because of the way the shoulders notch, I can't get them into a flat. I mean, that's nearly flat, but look at the angle it's on. But if I do it like that, now they're both tilted outwards. I can't get this one into the right position. I just can't. But this one, they make it too easy. So you can have him at a weird angle. And you might not notice at first. At least with that one, I know for a fact. If they aren't symmetrical, he's not even going to be pretend to be flat. But, you know, he's like that. He's got the big grey thing. He's got what's clearly the remote mode chest just hanging out underneath. But you're not supposed to notice that. Um... And then they got this big hole in the back. It's like, and again, I know you can do this, and that looks better. He did stay like that. That's because I've messed with it. Oh, all right, it's because I've tilted it. And again, you got the shoulder joints, so you can rotate them that way as well. You can dance. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime girl. It's a bit weird, you know. Uh, I don't want to be negative about him. I'm just being honest, okay? <sighs> Honesty, who wants that? Uh, right. So, should we transform it? So, we're going to get this down, fold this piece in, rotate it up, wiggle this bit off, wiggle this bit off. We might as well take a look at these. So, we've got all of the G1, no less, except this didn't incorporate with the G1. We got this, which is a translucent bit with a weird half-hearted sprayed orange bit. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And this, which quite well designed, you know, quite well made. And they plug together and whichever way you want it, that way or that way, I don't know. I'm not I can't remember. But that way. And he's got his view uh is it fusion cannon still? I don't know. Neutron super mega dead star cannon thing. I don't know. I just remember uh, Skylink's picking it up and threatening him with it. <laughs> uh, did I mention Galvatron's not exactly one of my favourite characters? <laughs> but it's fine. Um, one thing I wanted to mention. right? This back piece goes there into that peg for the vehicle mode, so vehicle mode, alternate mode. However, when I was transforming this the first time, I got these two pieces. Oh, come here. 
these two pieces. Now, they just sort of flop on the robot mode, and they're just here, and as you transform it, you end up like that. You're like, okay, um, well, that's got a hole, and that's got a notch, so clearly, they peg together. Okay. But if you do that, this won't fit in there anymore. So, they don't tab together. There's, unless I, well, I haven't read the instructions, because I'm a maverick renegade. So, what's the purpose of them having that slot and that tab when they don't combine together? Just a just a personal rant. It's okay. All right. So uh, now we need to get these pieces with the three lasers, the uh, light grey piece with the red, compared to the silver and black. Needs to just untab and rotate it forward a bit. Do the same on this side. Now we can get all this up. Yay! Get all this up. Yay! Flap, flap, flap. Anyway, sorry. What am I doing? I don't, I'm sorry, I'm tired today. It's my first day back at work, and I, I don't know what I'm doing with myself. Now, we need to get this back piece, and just here on this black underneath, there's a tab this side, tab the other. Just need to wriggle those loose, try and... Rotate this piece at, well, the hips, down. Don't need to get it 100%, just out of the way for now. And that will allow you to get this piece, this whole thing on a here, well, a double hinge in there, and rotate it out of the way. It's a bit of a messy one, but, you know, it'll be fine. Now we get this up, and hinge, so that goes like that. And then hinge so this tab goes into there. Dreaded double hinge. But before we do that, because that's where that is going to go, but before we do it all the way, we're going to try and get this loose. No, this bit, this metallic -y, silvery gunmetal bit. We're going to try and prise loose and open. Nice detail in there, they didn't need to do that. And that will allow you to fold the chest panel down ish. And pull the head precipice kind of thing out. And the head precipice itself is a double hinge. So it's gone from kind of like that to coming around and all the way through. And then this closes it up and you got to kind of work around everything. Get that down straight and shove that in there. Did you see all that? Because I'm not doing it again. Uh, <laughs> Now you can use the double hinge in the back there to get this peg to go into where the barrel was. So bring it, you stay in place, bring it down, down, and then shove that peg into where the barrel was, at which point you can untab this, and again, double hinge it, all the way up onto the top there. Maybe you need to do that first, probably do that first, okay. There it's done, what do you think? <sighs> Now we can bring these pieces, which are only one hinge there, that, this whole thing, we just collapse them so that this big tab here goes into that slot, and this tab here goes into that slot. Okay. And this also tabs in side here somewhere, I believe. Let's fold this all the way up. Yeah, there you go. So that, uh, tab into place. Rotate this up a little bit, this up a little bit, and the reason the legs weren't going far enough straight down is because this bit's in the way, so we're going to hinge that up, rotate it all the way around, and it's a side skirt. Straighten the legs out. Uh, yeah, that's right. Untap them, and then I'll show you this. This folds over the tab. Oh, well, sorry. That tab is for that slot now to lock this all in place. And this slot is going to that tab to lock all this into place. I see. The fact they line up perfectly to tab into each other in uh, alternate mode is just by the by. Fine. 
rotate the legs to the front, rotate the legs to the front. We're going to get these elbow pieces, bring them round, and we'll, even though there's the hinge, little tread ankle hinge in there, this is actually a double hinge mechanism. What do you know? It's double hinges the figure. I'm going to get it up so that this tab goes into that screw hole. There. Let's untap the arm from the front of the shoulder. Come on. Itch it. Why are you fighting? There you go. Straighten it all the way out. Flip out the hand. Do the same thing over here. So bring it all the way around. Tap it in there. Ugh, get that out. Straighten that up. Bring it down. Make sure that that's straight because I fold it over like a fool. S flip out the heels. Apologies. Stand him up. Uh. Straighten his head so he doesn't look very confused about where he is. Bring the camera up slightly. So hopefully you've seen everything that's going on. Stick that on his shoulder. Oh. Okay. So we have robot mode. Yay. And it's accurate. Uh, by the way, you can't twist the uh, upper shoulder upper arms with these tabbed in so you might just have to leave them untabbed personal preference and all that because he can't point his cannon in a threatening way with them tabbed in you have to pew pew he's all right you know he, he's not bad i think these bits shouldn't be there i think they make him a little bit wider than he should be but that's personal preference you know the legs look nice, maybe a bit skinny, but nice. Nice bit of articulation, you know, he's got... Okay, he, he's got ankle tilt, but maybe it's not supposed to go that far. Yeah, he's got a little bit of ankle tilt while this thing allows. Weird, but okay, sure. Yeah, universal joint, blah blah blah. Move that out of the way. He's got plenty of articulation, you know. Stops just about on that, but it's it's good enough. Works for me. Shoulders, uh I've done the shoulder fix thing. Oh dear. Uh made a bit of mess on this one. But it's not that noticeable. Uh, didn't really enjoy doing that, but you know, it's one of those things. And the head. It's on the ball joint. He looks thoroughly fed up. Like, ugh, are you done yet? Kind of. Uh, you can bring in the other accessories. So, you can bring in the double gun. And you put it in his hand. And you go, haha, I have a gun because this isn't big enough and you can get this thing and you can put it over his head and tap it into the chest in the exact same spot and it just kind of floats above the back of his head because it doesn't connect anywhere and it just sort of floats don't like that uh, if you want you can split them and do the double guns Go in the hand. Go, go, in the hand. Why don't you want to go in this hand? That's interesting. No, no, no. Ow. I think I stabbed myself with a nail. But you can double go and pew, 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 pew. And the fusion can is like, oh. But you can do that, is the point. Uh, and now I've done the review, these accessories are going back in the box now to be seen again. Because I don't like them. They're stupid and my foot's fallen asleep. Ow! Um, I don't know. I was never a big Galvatron guy. He turned up right at the end of the film and it was like, oh, look, he's a big bad guy. And then he gets beaten up by Heart Rod. And I'm like, really? Really? You're beaten up by Heart Rod? Uh huh. 
and Mr. Brian Checo's asking me about Certoy's discount, so I'll sort that out in a minute. Now he knows what time I recorded this. Woo ha 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 ha. Um, it technically is very good. Technically, he's fine. He's got a little crotch flap. Woo. Ooh, I see. Green. Anyway, um, technically he's very good. Technically he's nice. Uh, these can angle. These can, things can angle in and out. So they can be like emotive cat ears for you. Ooh. And they're fine. They're alright. But I find if you're a bit too rough with the shoulders, these untap. And I have floor polished these joints to try and make them tighter. Uh, not the shoulders, the actual double hinged app apparatus to hold this together. Um, and granted, I did put a fair bit of force into that, but I still think they come loose a little bit easier than they should. Um, I was going to do a different size comparison for the uh, alternate mode. So there's drag strip because I forgot to do it. And there's Wild Rider. So he's generous Voyager, touching on leader. And for the actual size comparison I need to have, here is Titan's Return Galf in Robot Mo Oh wait, sorry. This this is the third mode they shoehorned into this. That, you know, I actually quite like because it's fun and it's better than him just being a tank that can't do anything. Oh, sorry, a turret that can't do anything. Now he can actually fly somewhere. One second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. And, I mean, I think he's better proportioned. And considering that's a Voyager, then he, he must be a Voyager. And you know, you're thinking, why have you got that on the wrong side and everything? And why have you got the, the stupid face mount? Well... Mine's got some uh, Shapeways off upgrade parts. I didn't think it was fair to do the initial comparison. But these legs are a little bit chunkier. They feel a little bit more powerful than these skinny ones. I mean, these are probably more cartoon accurate, don't get me wrong. But they just they feel a bit thin. The body thing seems a lot thinner rather than these random bits you know, jutting out. I think he did have these, don't get me wrong. I think he did. But I don't think they were quite this protruded, especially considering these parts don't do anything in the alternate mode, they just kind of hang out underneath. Unless I'm transforming it wrong, please let me know. Didn't check the instructions. But it just, I don't know. But let's give this its full glory because I have shape weighed it, so I'm going to use the uh, side mount part that I got here, and we're going to hide this awful flip out mask. And get the helmet that I bought. And the head and the cannon are probably still better on this one. Fair's fair. This is cannon, it works for the alternate modes and stuff, but it doesn't work there. Can I can I borrow you'll get it back? Probably. Probably. Ooh, now that looks kinda of good. Doesn't fit with the aesthetic, but it looks quite good. You can have it back, see, I told you. I mean This was kind of my definitive Galvatron, because I never thought I'd get this leader one. I didn't think I'd get anything else. And a lot of people said he was bad, so I got a, a soft spot for him. You know, he's alright. He's got a bit of a weird backpack, which I must admit. This one doesn't have. But one thing this does better than that is I can bend the arms. I can rotate the arms. Look how this works. Whereas with this one, I'm going to bend... I can bend the arm, okay. And as long as that's on tab, I can rotate the arm. But this is still in the way. It's still wibbly. And I can tab it into the back of the arm, but now I can't rotate the arm it'll just pop out it's I don't I don't like this bit there are a few things on this I don't like you may have noticed and that's fine I, I'm not trying to be mean and nasty and spiteful and I'm not trying to say that this is better than that even though I don't think I've got the head fully plugged in why have, oops, give me a sec 
Yeah, it's not. There you go. That's better. This is better than that. All right, do you want me to, do you want me to hear uh, Do you want to hear me say it? This is better than that. Okay, fine. But that's more fun. At least to me, this is more fun. This is this is a toy. This is something to play with. This is a statue. It's an ornament. And that's the difference between the two. This is something to play with. This is something to mess around with. This is something to put in a pose on your shelf with your like 18 sweeps and your scourge and your two cyclonuses saying one's the uh, imagine it, something like that. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember the word. But it, it doesn't feel fun to me. Maybe I need to spend some more time with him after this review and yeah, maybe that'll change my mind. But he's, he's not fun to me. The transformation, you saw it yourself. It's fiddly and bitty and things everywhere in each other's way. It's easy enough to do once you've done it a couple of times, you know what you're doing, but it's not fun. I'm sorry if everyone thought I was going to give this just glowing review. I'm, I'm, let me just, again, restate. This is the superior Galvatron. This is the best-looking Galvatron. Its cannon mode is arguably more accurate. All right, it's more accurate, but it's not 100%. Um, wrist swivel. Um, it's just not quite there for me. Again, maybe I'd have loved it more in the comic colours, which I think they had at TF Nation, but it was more expensive than this one, so I got this one because I'm a penny pincher. And even this little battle damagey slightly lighter purple pen I, I i barely even notice it i i don't even care at this point but i do like him i do honest i promise you i do like him i just think i need to get to know him better he's very fed up with me here and this video has been going on far too long so i'm going to go away so <clears throat> <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Feel free to uh, support me on Patreon or throw some money at my uh, PayPal, which is paypal.me slash uglywretch. Or it, there's a comment link in like the about or something. You'll find it. It's all good. But uh, yeah, I should be ugly. I should be wretched. I shall see all of you in the next one. You all come back now you're here. Beverly Hillbillies. Bye.